Hi, paper crafters. Welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today, I want to share a really quick project with you, one where you can actually get two cards in about the same amount of time as it normally takes you to make one. We're going to be using the Lots of Heart Photopolymer Stamp Set and the Many Hearts Dies. And there are a ton of different dies in this set. There's actually 15 different dies to choose from. And you might think that they're only Hearts Valentines, but they're not. This is one of the most versatile sets that I found in the January to June 2021 mini catalog and it's because it's also got things like butterflies and flowers and uh, this little this one here is a heart but it's made up of um, flowers and leaves so I have found it to be quite a useful and versatile set and you can see all kinds of different designs over on my blog so I'm pulling out that um, die right there which is a really cool die with lots of hearts on it and I'm going to be using I'm going to be making two cards and I'm going going to use my heart smile just thinking about you and also the thank you. The other thing that we're going to pull in is some True Love Designer Series paper. And this paper, if you like black and white, what's great about black and white paper is that you can color it, but you can leave it black and white. And if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I really like black and white. And so we're going to be using two designs today out of here. We're going to use the little sort of um, combined flowers. And we're also going to be using this one right here, a little bit larger. But what's great about all of our designer paper is that generally there are patterns on one side and then there is a design of something else on the other side. So we're going black and white with just a hint of color today. So this is what else you need to make two cards. You need two card bases. One is going to be basic black and one is going to be basic white. You need two pieces of cardstock. You need one that is black and these are both four by five and a quarter. And then you need a bright color. So whatever color you like, but I'm using Daffodil Delight. And then you need two pieces of designer paper. And I've got that. And those are cut to two by five and an eighth. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our hearts out of our cardstock and we are going to do that on one side in the yellow and we're going to do it on the other side in the black. So all I'm going to do is take this and run it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine. Now what's quite cool about this is when you cut it, what you get are a bunch of hearts that are also cut out, but you get them cut out and some of them have a border around them. In fact, all of them have a border around them and they get left in the die. So what you wanna do is you want to just take your, take your pick tool and there's little circles here that you can just poke through and all of them will come out. Okay, so we are actually going to be using from both the black and the white, one of these pieces that has the two hearts on it. So you can pull those apart and set them aside and all the rest of these hearts, keep them in your little envelope and you can use them for all kinds of other cards. Now we're just going to stamp. So I'm just going to use my embossing buddy, which is an anti-static pouch. And it's because I'm going to be using white embossing powder on top of black paper. And if I don't use that pouch, I'm going to have uh, little dots that could stick around. So I'm gonna ink up my words and I'm just going to stamp it, try and get it straight down, sort of nestle it into the, the heart area there. And when I'm stamping, I like to have my cardstock straight so that it's easier for me to get my words straight as well. So stamp straight down, pull it straight up, pull in my white embossing powder and have that go right over top. And I decided that I would cut out first so that if I had done my words first and they were too far over, that way I wasn't going to be wasting time or wasting paper if I made a mistake. So when I put on my embossing powder, I then just take a paintbrush that I have cut down a little bit and I get rid of any little specks that might still be um, sticking around. And then while we have our inks out, we're just going to take our thank you stamp and we are going to stamp that on our piece of yellow. Can I try and line that up as straight as possible? Stamp straight down and straight up. Put your lids back on your stamp pads 
and then we're going to put the rest of the card together. So all we need to do is we need to glue in behind our piece of designer paper and you can decide which paper you like better and maybe for this one I will actually do this side of the paper. Now here we're going to use some liquid glue and our liquid glue you want to go first of all around your heart. You want that paper to stick quite well. You don't have to be really, really close. I'm not using a lot of preciseness, you can probably tell, but I am just going to get that paper straight down on top and there's going to be just a little tiny bit of a border. So a little border uh, of yellow at the top and the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing on our black and we can do the same thing. We can decide which one we like better. I like that one or that one. I think I'm gonna go for the flowers again. I do like that a little bit better. So same thing. And you don't have to watch um, where you're putting this so much because that's gonna stick quite well. And now I'm just going to take some more liquid glue and go all the way around the outside of that card. The black is going to go onto our piece of basic white and that's just going to glue straight down on top of it with a little bit of a white border. And our yellow is going to go on our piece of basic black, our card that is basic black that is. Again, just a little bit of liquid glue all over the back, which will really hold it. Your liquid glue allows you just a little bit of time to move your uh, cardstock around in case you don't happen to get it uh, straight right off the get-go. So there, we'll set that one aside. Now we're just going to take that yellow and we are going to put that inside. And it's just a little hint of color that is really going to add something. So I'm just going to add a little bit of my liquid glue here. There's a couple different ways that you can do this, but uh, this is easy for me. And you just dot it on a little bit at a time. You don't need to get glue everywhere. And I'm gonna show you the second way in just a second. So that is just going to fit right inside because that's exactly the same size. So there's that card all done. Now let's just finish up this one. And I wanna show you the other way that you can apply that glue. So I'm gonna use my liquid glue again, but this time I'm going to use a sponge that this one has been used a little bit. I'm gonna take that sponge and it's attached to an alligator clip. And I'm going to find my little hearts here. And I'm just going to dab right into my glue. I'm gonna hold my hearts down and I'm just gonna pounce that glue right over top. You wanna to try not to move them because you will get glue on the front of the hearts. So there's glue all over the back now and I just place that down on top of that one. Okay, so there are our two cards. Pretty quick and easy. If you wanted to, you could put some embellishments on them, but I really think that they do sort of stand out all on their own already. So there you go. All done, two cards made in a really quick amount of time. I hope this idea gives you a little bit of inspiration that you're gonna try both of them at home. If you did like it, please like this video below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you live in Canada and you don't yet have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your gal. You can always find me over at www.designwithjoe.ca. And if you're not on my mailing list, get yourself signed up over there too and get yourself a free gift. Thanks very much and have a great paper crafting day.